asteroids rattling around Earth's neighborhood of space have always been a big concern. As the recent film Don't Look Up showed, there's nothing more terrifying than a monster space rock hurtling towards the Earth. Both Musk and NASA previously have given terrifying warnings about a massive asteroid that is about to crush the Earth. So how worried should we really be, and what would happen if such an object actually collides with us? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The year 2022 has begun with NASA warning the world about the potentially hazardous asteroids heading for Earth. The agency has reported that as many as five asteroids are charging towards our planet this month. But most people are indifferent due to the small size of said asteroids that are comparable to a bus or a house. However, there are millions of asteroids ranging in size from hundreds of miles to several feet across that could be dangerous. Many have hit Earth in the past and more will crash into our planet in the future. According to Nancy Chabot, a chief planetary scientist at Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory, there are about 25,000 near-Earth asteroids at least 500 feet wide that could be devastating if they crash into Earth. We're actually not talking global extinction event, but regional devastation on the area that could wipe out a city or even a small state. And so, it is a real concern. It is a real threat. To give you an idea of how serious it is, let's take a look at Apophis. This asteroid has sat at the top of the European Space Agency's impact risk list of PHAs, or potentially hazardous asteroids, and NASA's century risk table for 17 years. Discovered back in 2004, Apophis is an Aten asteroid about 370 meters wide that orbits the Sun every 324 days and comes close to Earth every decade or so. It gained notoriety when early observations suggested it might strike Earth in 2029. On Friday, April 13th, Friday the 13th, 2029, this object will pass within just 31,000 kilometers of our home planet, a distance that brings it closer than most geostationary satellites. Its close passage will be so bright that even around 2 billion people will be able to witness it with the naked eye. But that just begs the question, what if Apophis hits Earth? There isn't anything like this in the geological record of our planet. Other impacts have either been much larger, such as the Chicxulub that wiped out Earth's large dinosaurs 66 million years ago, or much smaller. Garrett Collins, a professor in the Department of Earth Science and Engineering at Imperial College of London, United Kingdom, estimates that if Apophis were to strike Earth at 45,000 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per second or 20 kilometers per second, the average speed of asteroid impacts, the energy released would be about 10 billion billion joules. That's one that's 19 zeros. Oh my god. That's a lot. There's too many zeros. This is equivalent to the explosive yield of the global nuclear arsenal, about 100 times more than the energy of the Chelyabinsk meteor and a million times more energy than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima. The worst case scenario for an impact this size would be if it were to occur close to a large population center or near a heavily populated coastline, devastating consequences would arise from a number of secondary effects, such as violent earthquakes, intense thermal radiation, and atmospheric shock waves. So basically a cataclysmic event. But luckily, this historic event won't be as severe as experts once thought. Observations of the asteroid Apophis in early March of last year enabled astronomers to conclude that Apophis has no chance of impacting Earth in the next 100 years. Despite that, Apophis isn't the only near-Earth asteroid. Through telescope lenses, NASA has also managed to spot 27,323 asteroids that could endanger the Earth. Just under 10,000 of these are 140 meters or larger, and 891 are more 
than a kilometer in size. According to experts in the planetary defense field, just such an object killed off most of the dinosaurs. Even SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk has also repeatedly expressed his concern about asteroids. With the same goal of protecting the Earth from these dangers, Musk and NASA have joined hands to collaborate on the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, mission, the first foray into planetary defense. Or as Musk said, Avenge the Dinosaurs! The first ever planetary defense spacecraft launched the first time on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket early November 24th, 2021 from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. DART's mission is doomed to spend less than a year in space and make a stunning exit by crashing all of its 550 kilograms into an object called Dimorphos, which is a small moonlet orbiting its parent asteroid Didymos in September or October this year. If all goes well, it will give planetary defense specialists their first real-world data about deflecting space rocks. Then, planetary defenders can feed this data into the models that tell them just how big a spacecraft going just how fast might be enough to ward off an asteroid. Did that make sense? I don't know. According to Brent Barbie, an aerospace engineer at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, the results from the DART mission are going to be informing our hypothetical work on planetary defense going forward in numerous ways. It's going to be affecting the way we think about planetary defense mission design for many years to come. Because the kinetic impactor approach as DART is only one technique that planetary defense specialists consider for moving an asteroid's path, other options may be to use lasers, a companion spacecraft's gravity, or a nuclear explosion. Which option makes the most sense when needed will depend on the warning time Earth has and the size of the asteroid. And sometimes, a deflection will even require more than one mission, increasing the difficulty of the project. So that spacecraft in a warehouse had better have a companion. DART is the start. This is the first step. Compared to NASA, Musk has more foresight. According to Musk himself, the best solution is to make humans a spacefaring civilization and a multi-planetary species. He dreams of cities on Mars. He strongly believed that settling humans on other worlds, such as Mars, could preserve civilization if Earth were to experience a cataclysmic event, such as a large asteroid impact. And that's why SpaceX was born. The ship, which is currently undergoing final tests, is preparing for launch in March of this year, just as soon as the FAA makes its final assessment after several delays. If Starship lives up to its billing, we can develop more and more measures to protect Earth from incoming asteroids. And I don't know about you, but I feel like it's really worth it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. That's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.